Okay, imagine somebody breaks into your house and while they're in there, they trip over your dodgy stair on the staircase. Can they sue you? Well, under the Occupiers Liability Act 1984, even trespassers are owed a duty of common humanity. However, we have this principle called ex terpi causa, which means uh, you cannot profit um, out of your own wrongdoing, nor can you formulate a claim. Um, to give you an example that crops up in sort of, you know, everyday terms, say you're in a car accident and somebody drives into you um, and you bring a claim against them, but it turns out your car's not MOT'd or taxed. Can you sue then? Um, actually, the courts have said yes, you can, uh, because the wrongdoing isn't really connected with the claim. However, they've said um, when it comes to things like um, claiming for you know a car in the interim while yours is being fixed, you can't claim for that because um, effectively you're replacing um, your non-legal car with a legal one. Um, other examples: um, people, br you know, trespassing on the railway and getting hit by trains. The courts have been pretty clear there that they've said, well, no, if you're daft enough to do that, it's illegal to trespass on the railway, and even though people have had you know, horrific injuries, as judges say, sympathy does not create jurisdiction. Um, so yeah, so people there have been told, well no, sorry, this is all out of your own wrongdoing. Uh, similarly, if you were to start a fight and somebody sort of, you know, reacted, you know, reacted over the top, um, there might be some issues around criminal liability, but you probably wouldn't be able to sue then, um, even if somebody had like, reacted in not, you know, over the top self-defense because it's your own wrongdoing. So yeah, there you go. It's related to another principle called contributory negligence. Uh, that's where, um, yes, somebody has wronged you in some way. However, because of something you did wrong, the injuries are worse. I mean, the classic example there is, you know, if you're knocked off your motorcycle and you're not wearing a helmet, they'll knock the damages down by 25%. Similarly, if you're not wearing a seatbelt in a car crash. I mean, theoretically, they're supposed to actually identify how big a sort of contribution to the, you know, to the loss your negligence was, although it's getting a bit formulaic now. It used to be that contributory negligence was 100% um, you know, defence to a claim. Now, though, they do do it on a percentage basis. However, they can still find that you were 100% contributory negligence. So even though the other person was at fault, your fault was also of such an extent that effectively saying it's not fair that you recover damages. So there you go. Um, as always, if you found that useful, helpful, or mildly diverting, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing.